If you look at the NBA last season, and then look at where it is right now, you're going to see a lot of changes. Not the least of which is several key players going and changing teams and arguably forming new super teams that might just shake up things in the NBA should they get some chemistry and work well together. Easily one of the biggest moves was done before last season when Kevin Durant went from the Warriors to the Nets. He didn't get to play last year, but he's playing now and making a big impact, which is why he's worth so much and does a lot. Allow us to show you the lifestyle and net worth of Kevin Durant. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 7. Net Worth Given the popularity of overall NBA skill of Kevin Durant, you might be wondering just how much he's worth, especially since he's been in the NBA for a while and has multiple awards and NBA titles under his belt. As of 2021, and factoring in the Brooklyn Nets deal, his net worth is about $170 million, which is incredible without a doubt. Furthermore, it makes him one of the most valuable NBA players that are still in the league. Number one is LeBron James, obviously. But Kevin holds his own, and it's not hard to see why. He was not only a talent in college, but when he came to the NBA, he was one of the key forces behind the Oklahoma City Thunder going from a new team to a dominant one, and Kevin proved time and time again that he was a star. When he went to the Warriors to team up with Steph Curry, things only got better for him. And though he's only really started out with the Nets, as he was out last season due to injury, many are already saying he's playing at an MVP level. Add that to his endorsements and his clear longevity, and you can see why people like him so much. Plus, he's built up his value over the years, and his journey is very much one of discovery, triumph, and trying to prove himself to the world. Number 6. His Journey Durant entered the 2007 NBA Draft and was picked by the Seattle Supersonics as the draft's second overall. He then signed a two-year deal worth $8.65 million. Durant impressed in his first season in the league and thus won the Rookie of the Year award. Following the relocation of the Seattle Supersonics to Oklahoma City, the franchise became the Oklahoma City Thunders. After two amazing seasons with the Thunders, he penned a five-year deal worth $86 million in the 2010 to 2011 season. Durant stayed at Oklahoma City until 2016. During those years, he spent as an Oklahoma City Thunder player, Durant's efforts to claim an NBA championship were futile, but he compensated for his failure with his 2014 NBA MVP award. After about eight years with the OKC, without an NBA championship, Durant, who was now a free agent, moved to the Golden State Warriors after he signed a two-year deal worth $54.3 million in 2016. Durant finally clinched an NBA championship in 2017 with the Warriors. The next season, he repeated the feat. His successive NBA championship wins was noteworthy as he won the NBA Finals MVP award on both occasions. In 2018, Durant pinned another two-year deal worth $61.5 million with the Warriors. But after an injury-riddled season, he left for the Brooklyn Nets after he signed a four-year deal worth $164 million with the franchise in 2019, where he now resides and is teaming with not just his good friend and Kyrie Irving, but a recent trade brought James Harden to the mix. So yeah, Durant has had quite the journey, and it's featured many ups and downs, but he's always followed his gut and his instincts, and he's never lost the desire to work hard. Number 5. Training Many NBA players say they want to be the best, but only a select few actually have the talent to at least attempt such a thing. Fewer still are willing to push themselves and learn new techniques and such to go and be the best. Kevin Durant is absolutely one of those people. He has tried to be the best ever since his days in the Thunder. And even now, years later, and with two rings on his hand, he still wants to be the best and is willing to train to do just that as well as learn to be a better team player overall. I'm busy working on every aspect of a game, defense, shooting, rebounding, but I really want to become a better overall team player, help my teammates become better players out there on the court in order to win more ball games. That right there is the key thing, because many top-level NBA players have been called selfish because of their style of play and how they love to hog the ball, including 
his teammates in Kyrie Irving and James Harden. But Durant knows, especially from his time with the Warriors, that it's a team that wins titles, and you're only as good as your weakest link. I can score the basketball, but I think I can pass pretty well, or I can make the correct pass. I'm not the type of guy who's just going to throw the ball inbounds and a guy who's wide open. I can make the right pass. That says a lot about Kevin Durant's personality, don't you think? Number four, business ventures. Don't think for a second, though, that Kevin Durant focuses all his time on his basketball skills, because he's actually becoming quite the savvy businessman. Over his time in the NBA and getting money from the NBA, he's invested in quite a few things, including the Acorns app, which is an app that is aimed to help the younger generation invest wiser and have the potential of getting real wealth. Durant's mission is to assist the younger generation in making continuous personal development advancements. Acorns also partners with the Kevin Durant Charity Foundation for future initiatives. Supporting up-and-coming generations by tackling tough issues and empowering them with the tools for success has always been a priority in my life, Durant said. Teaming up with Acorns is another way I can make a positive impact, and I'm excited to explore other ways to bring our shared mission to life. Durant's investment in Acorns will help fuel the company's continued expansion, including the development of products and services designed to supercharge millennials' financial success. More than 70% of Acorns investors are ages 18 to 34. Kevin's investment is a strong endorsement of Acorns, and our focus on democratizing investment for the up-and-coming, said Noah Kerner, CEO of Acorns. I have a long-standing friendship with Kevin's agent, Rich Kleiman, and it was clear from our early conversations that we share a passion for looking after this generation's financial best interest. He also invests in Postmates, which is the food delivery service which many have been utilizing recently because of the global pandemic limiting where people can go get food. What this shows is that Durant knows he won't be going and playing basketball forever, and he can make a big impact on people's lives while also boosting his portfolio. Number three, sponsorships. NBA players can make huge profits if they're able to get endorsement deals, and being that Kevin Durant is one of the most popular players in all of the NBA, he gets a lot of them. In 2014, Kevin Durant was the central figure of an endorsement signing tussle between Under Armour and Nike. Nike won and signed Durant to an endorsement deal that will last until 2024. The exact amount isn't known, but you can bet it's worth tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars by now. Aside from Nike, Durant has endorsement deals with Google and Alaska Air Group. In 2019, Durant made $35 million from endorsement and sponsorship deals alone, which is rather impressive and helps him improve his net worth. Number 2. His Cars Kevin Durant has quite a modest car collection for an athlete of his caliber. The cars in his garage include a Chevrolet Camaro SS and a Ferrari California worth $200,000. He likely has a lot more, as NBA players typically don't hold it back when it comes to getting nice cars. Just ask his former teammate in Steph Curry or his rival in LeBron James. Both of them have extensive collections. Still, whether he has a lot or only has a few, it's clear that these cars make him happy, and that's what matters. Number 1. Mansion What's an NBA player without a big house, right? In 2018, Kevin Durant bought an oceanfront home worth $12.15 million on Broad Beach in Malibu. The oceanfront home has six bathrooms, four bedrooms, a home theater, a wall of wine which is glass enclosed, elevator service to each floor, a dining patio, and an outdoor spa. Not a bad place to call home, and he has more homes than just that to be clear. So, what do you think? What do you think of this look at the various parts of Kevin Durant's life and how he's gone from being a good player to an all-star to a champ and expected to be a champ again? And all the perks that's allowed him. What do you think of the things Durant has bought over the years? What do you think he'll get next now that he's in Brooklyn? What are reasonable expectations for this season with the Nets? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel.